Jacob Wallenberg, one of Sweden's main industrialists. He uttered in France for the first time in a very long time, we are now going to invest in France. One of the several crucial factors has to do with the labor law change legislations being put in place at the end of 2017. First say that the rules of dismissal is pointing to uh, uh, SMEs, small and medium sized businesses, to uh, uh, getting better conditions for them to, to hire and also better ways for them and more predictable ways for them to do layoffs. That is a very important uh, point uh, when it comes to the rules of dismissal. And we can already see uh, reports coming in from OECD, for example, that you see a gradual decrease of approximately 15% when you look into court cases being related to rules of dismissal. That's uh, when you look into social dialogue, you can see two broad changes. Number one is that you have more of a decentralized social dialogue on a management level up to 50 uh, employees in a company, you have a lot more uh, involvement uh, in the social dialogue. Um, really um, quite similar to uh, so-called work council arrangements in Germany, whereby you can have much more influence on work conditions and wage setting on a uh, medium-sized business level. That's number one. Now, number two is also for uh, smaller companies up to 20 employees. You give management much more saying also when it comes to, for example, working time. Looking ahead also when it comes to bigger companies in, in France, uh, our assessment is that you have had a much more of a simplification of the labor code, a clearer uh, layer when it comes to the so social dialogue, which gives bigger companies also a better saying and better conditions to plan for fluctuations when it comes to uh, production and uh, economic uh, cycles. The impact from a company perspective is clearly that you have a much more of a certainty when it comes to rules of dismissal, that you have uh, a clearer processes. But I will also say that the uh, implementation may take some time. So, and I think when it comes to uh, the flex security reforms, when it comes to rules of dismissal and so on, my view is uh, perhaps that the uh, uh, policymakers in Paris have looked into more into the Danish example. But when it comes to uh, social dialogue and so on, my understanding is that they have looked into more of the Swedish example.